What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro To Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out the SLR Magic 50 millimeter 1.3X anamorphic, putting it through a bunch of tests, first looking at breathing, then flaring, bokeh, distortion, sharpness, and lastly, chromatic aberration. If you guys wanna learn more about our camera settings and our setup, I'll put that in the description below for you to check out. There'll also be time codes to all of the tests that we're gonna be running if you wanna jump ahead to any specific one. Now let's get right into the first test, checking out the breathing of the 50 millimeter SLR Magic anamorphic. So to test the breathing, what we're gonna do is rack focus from close focus all the way to infinity. If you watch the edges, that's the best place to see any breathing effect that's happening. And if you look in the window on the right side, you can see that focus shift and that zooming in and out, which is the focus breathing that we're seeing with this lens. And then I'm just gonna rack focus a little quicker here so you can see that breathing a little better. Next up, let's take a look at the flaring and we're wide open on this lens at a T2.8. You can see some huge flares coming across the screen and then in the corners you see those really cool blooming effects and they almost look like marching ants when you're in Photoshop, how they rotate around as you tilt or pan around with them. And then back in the corners you see that flare again, down to the bottom. You're not seeing as many big blue orbs like you did with the 35 millimeter, but there's definitely more flaring in the corners of this lens. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna put the light outside of the frame. And then we're just gonna pan and tilt around. Not as much flaring, um, definitely in the corners, you still get that sort of blooming rainbow flare coming in, and then some blue streaks coming across the frame. You get some pretty big blue orbs, but they're really washed out. They're not too defined like they were with the 35 millimeter. Next up, we're gonna look at the bokeh, and now we're focused at five feet, and then we're just gonna go through the aperture range from a T2.8 all the way down to a T16. You can see we have some really nice oval bokeh when we're wide open, and as we close down, they definitely round out a little bit. And on the edges, you can even see a little bit of that barrel distortion starting to bend that bokeh and compress them together a little bit. Speaking of that distortion, let's take a look at edge distortion and sharpness. We're wide open at a T2.8, and we're just gonna pan from side to side so you can see how it distorts on the edges. It does seem to keep the focus roughly in the same area. It doesn't look like it's getting too much softer, but there's definitely a little bit of bending, especially if you look into the lights going right into this corner here, you can see how squished together they are and how they bend with the barrel distortion. And then we're gonna go and do the same thing, but now at a T4, so we've closed down a whole stop. We've added in some more light just so we can get a little bit sharper of an image. And again, it stays sharp pretty much across the whole frame. And you can see that distortion on the edges as we pan through the lights. And then coming back to center. Next up, let's look at just sharpness alone. Now on the bottom here, we have a 300% crop in, and then above that, we have the actual shot. Wide open at a T2.8. I thought this lens was definitely a little bit soft. Closing down one stop definitely sharpens it up. Down to a 5.6, it's pretty sharp. I wouldn't have a problem shooting with that. T8, obviously even a little bit sharper. The last thing that we're gonna check is chromatic aberration. Now we're wide open at a T2.8 again and we just have a light bouncing into a white card so we get that really good contrast between the dark light and then the really blown out white background. And I'm just gonna shift focus slightly forward and back so you can see the color fringing on the edge of the light stand. You can see that blue when we come to close focus and then that yellow orange color as we rack focus past the light. Hope you guys enjoyed that little test of the SLR Magic 50 millimeter anamorphic. If you guys wanna try this lens out for yourself, there'll be links in the description below. Also, if you like this video and wanna see more anamorphics on the channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every week, and I'll see you in the next one.